Hello YouTube and thanks for tuning in. Well as we all know the HF bands are really bad right now and they won't be improving anytime soon. So instead of SSB I found a new way to make contacts. I'll show you that right after this. Well, as we all know the bands they're for crap right now. I mean, everything's in the dirt. Doesn't matter who you use, bandconditions.com or whatever's on QRZ. I mean, 10 through 17 meters, it's all bad. And you get this fair stuff during the day and sometimes at night, and one good at night. And how good is it really? Probably not very. However, I started using PSK31 the past week because it has such a narrow bandwidth, it doesn't take much effort to get it out there. And as a consequence, just in a couple days, I've been able to make several contacts. Now the software that I'm using is by Ham Radio Deluxe. It's very simple. If you have problems setting it up, they have excellent customer service. They'll actually go through Team Viewer and help you set it up while you watch, tell you what you need to do, and doesn't matter how many times you call back, they're more than happy to help you out. You can also use the Ham Radio Deluxe's logbook and the Digital Master 780 where you have your waterfall, input the your messages that you want to send out, and here's where you can receive the messages. With, you can do all kinds of modes, and it's CW, RDTY, the different PSKs, QPSK, I mean there's no shortage of digital modes that can be done. So I'm going to get this all hooked up, ready to go, and we'll see where it goes from there. Try and make some contacts. The radio I'm going to be using for this is my ICOM IC7200. Nice thing about this radio is it already has the sound card built in, so there's no need to buy extra parts that can oftentimes cost well over a hundred dollars. And the antenna I will again be using is a Chameleon Hybrid Mini with the mill whip and the extension. Let's see if we can't uh, maybe get a contact with uh, KC0VCC. Any of those call sign in there? If you're a fast enough typist, you can actually keep typing faster than this bar is moving across. Let's see if KC0VCC responds. It looks like we got a contact. It shows right here he's commenting. He's from Colorado Springs. Since it's a two name word, I like both and put that in QTH. I don't know how you can get the QSL cards. That's in my report. This will just automatically keep going and it'll automatically go back to receive once the entire message has been put through and you can follow along with the, uh, the bar. Next I'll tell them what kind of station equipment I'm using. And it automatically puts his name in since I've entered his name up here in the log. I'm going to add some you can see this little stripe going across you can track where it is I'm just putting all the radios that I primarily use
it shows he's got a really strong signal coming in. You see how much brighter it is than the one fading, and this one's really low. He's going to move on. I'll sign clear with him as well. When you see these brackets around it, it'll automatically put in, at least my ninth QSO on 20 meters. And what it does is when you send this, notice all the log is empty. Because what this did is it automatically put it in the log over here. Now I have it right here. And if I want, I can take it from a logbook of the world or QRZ right here. I can put his info in here. I'm going to see about calling CQ myself, see if we can't get somebody. Sending it out. See the line going across. Now, to my understanding, there's other software styles where you can actually decode several messages at once. Try it again. Real faint one right there. This one's strong. I think that's the last fellow we talked to. And one more time. Oh, we got a response. So I'll respond to him real quick. And I screwed that up. But I'm going to stop that. Clear it. There's call sign in there. Because of the way the bands have been and where I live with all the stucco as you've seen in prior videos and that I'm dealing with an HOA so I'm relegated to a small vertical antenna. This is one of the best ways to get out and still make contacts. Not sure if we just walk on each other though. We can do the same with their locator. It's like I'm not making the trip as well as he is to me. Give me a four five five. But I'll take it. Where the bands are, I'm happy with any kind of contact. And as you saw, I quickly took out that second vertical before it went across. But yeah, I have a bigger space here. Oh well. Wow. And you can just put small, quick messages. It's like the band maybe crapping out. And I'll send my closing. And again, everything disappeared. So now in the logbook over here. One of the nice things about doing this, I can have this radio downstairs while my wife's doing work, the kids are doing homework, they're watching TV, whatever it is they're doing, and I can do this in complete silence and not disturb anybody. Now, if you want to change bands, there's two ways you can do it. If you've already set them up, the ones you like to use, through the main HRD, you can use the rig control, and you can come in here, just highlight it. You can use your keyboard, change it. I went ahead and in each one of the bands, put down what the standard frequency is. 
If I want to go to 40 meters, click it, it automatically changes the radio over. 80, 30. Another way you can do this, when you're in Digital Master, you got the bands right down here. You can do the same thing. I'm going to go to 40. Click on the 70, 70. 30. 80. We're back to 20. And again, it automatically changes the radio. Let's see if we can't get one more. We may have walked on each other on that one. There we go. This signal is kind of fading pretty bad right here. Here it comes back. That's part of my name. And he's lost again. Looks like he's saying he knows where I am because he must have been raised somewhere near here. With this six call it wouldn't surprise me. Now he's in Salem, Oregon. Let him know as well. Let's see if we can get anything from him now. If the signal fading, it looks like he's just going to skip out. Don't blame him. Well, I greatly appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you have not done so already, again, please subscribe. Thanks again for watching.